Hello my friends, this is Joe the Druid. How you doing? How's everybody doing? Hey, it's getting cold out there. Guess what? The sun is way down near Antarctica in the south. As a matter of fact, on the 21st, it will be what was to us in the northern hemisphere called the winter solstice, as well as Albane Arthane by the Druids and Malban by the Wiccans and Witches and so on. And what's this all about? Well, astronomically, you could say the sun has now reached its southernmost part of the Earth. And at, in about five days, it will start to make its journey northward to bring about summer to the northern hemisphere. Celebrated by many as the first uh, light, as the light begins to return back to the northern hemisphere, bringing about the spring and the summer and the harvest and all the good seasons and the planting and the harvest and the growing. The Maban, the son, the son of the god and goddess, is born once again at this time, as far as the Wiccans are concerned. Maban is a very interesting uh, concept of the son of the god and goddess. Recently I have uh, begun to realize that maybe the Maban would be uh, the beginning of a new season, of a new era, of a new age. Perhaps the Maban of the age of uh, Pisces, perhaps the Christ or the Jesus, or the Maban, or whatever you may uh, call as your deity that may have been born by many names. In the Christian Western tradition is the tradition of Jesus, which I think is interesting these days. Yet I was, a, I'm a pagan, but I'm a bit of a monotheist these days, actually going back into some of my older roots, but yet looking ahead as well, because that stuff is a lot of outdated, a lot of structures, a lot of uh, inaccuracies, but the truth is the truth is the truth. In each age, I believe there will be a mob on. In the age of Aquarius, there will be a mob on who that will is, that will be what is, what, what is will be to come. I would estimate that the Maban would have the father of Pisces and maybe perhaps the mother of Aquarius, perhaps being uh, of the Cancer. You know, for instance, uh, the Pisces representing the water and the Aquarius, you know, one who pours out the water. What's going to pour out of a bucket of uh, ocean water? But maybe a crab, so maybe the Cancer. The Cancer may be the Maban of the age of Aquarius. Just a guess, just a thought, anyway. Many uh, festivals go on. Uh, the Jewish uh, holiday of Hanukkah, the Feast of Lights, is also around that time of uh, the Maban. Interestingly, interestingly enough, uh, the sun reaches its uh, southernmost period at the, sum, at the winter solstice, usually around December 21st, and uh, uh, four or five days later is Christmas, um, December 25th. And that is actually five days later after the winter solstice when the sun starts to return its northernmost journey. So it's interesting how the church did uh, use actually pagan type of astro uh, astro astronomy and so on, perhaps with the Druids or the Greek philosophers or what have you. For instance, Augustine was very influenced by, uh, I believe, uh, Aristotle or Plato, one of those dudes. That's kind of how they got a concept of the celibacy and all that spirit and flesh, Manichaeism and all that, all these things go bad, everything's related. But anyway, just a few thoughts about the, I would call this uh, video Albert Arthane, as I'm a Druid. So I would call it that. And it's for Arthur, King Arthur will come again as far as Merlin was concerned in his prophecies and restore the kingdom. And in the words of uh, the Lord of the Rings, right? The king shall return and restore peace in order to the Shire. So I wish you peace in whatever way you accept that, in whatever way, in whatever maban, in whatever deliverance, in whatever hope, in whatever light, in whatever love you look forward to this season. I wish you all the best, and blessed be in peace. Our land, blessed be.